Cooking Apa. Hi, this is Cooking Apa. Apa will be uploading minimum four videos every week, namely on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, Malaysian time, 7 p.m. at night. And for the past two and a half years, Apa has uploaded over 600 cooking videos. You can go and have a look when you are free. Now today, I'm going to cook three cups uh, oyster, king oyster mushroom. So why is it I choose to make this dish tonight? Because my basil cannot last until tomorrow. So you can, as you can see, my basil has started. This is local Malaysian basil, but it has already started to dry out in my fridge. If I don't use it today, tomorrow I will have to throw it away. So basically I'm cleaning my fridge again. Yes. Okay, so um, while I'm cleaning my fridge, I was, I was thinking in my mind, um, what can I make use of this Thai basil? The other day I used to fry minced pork. Today, I have king oyster mushroom. Just cut them into uh, chunks like this. Okay? They are very a bit chewy. Actually, they taste a bit like... Mm, the mouthfeel actually tastes a bit like meat. Um, I'm a big fan. Yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, king oyster mushroom. So, um, and then the other two ingredients very uh, important for this Taiwanese three cups uh, king oyster mushroom is a uh, few slices of ginger. You can see a bit of uh, bluish color on the ginger here. This is pentong ginger. And then I have a uh, few pieces of uh, garlic here cut into uh, smaller chunks like this. Smaller cubes actually. It's, uh, maybe it's called dices maybe. Mm. Okay, and then um, of course we will need the seasoning. Most importantly is first of all the sesame oil. Secondly, we have some uh, light soya sauce. We have some saoxing wine, okay? And then we will put in a bit of oyster sauce, some salt and pepper, oh sorry, salt and sugar. Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Appa's video. Okay, let's start with sauteing the ginger. It's actually very important for this dish to really bring out the ginger aroma. Give me some oil here. Then I'm going to spend a couple of minutes just to char the ginger a bit. Okay, we will uh, saute the ginger until it started to curl up a little bit. Yeah, so we will come back shortly. Already, it's only after about maybe two, two, three, less than two, three minutes. You can start seeing um, the ginger has started to turn brownish. Now we can continue putting the garlic. Later, the garlic and the ginger you can also eat. Yeah, you don't. Um, it's not. It's not just seasoning or, or or flavoring. Even though now we are trying to bring out the flavor. Then we're gonna put in the king oyster mushroom. And now the oil is nicely flavored, especially from um, the ginger itself. I turn down the fire a little bit so I start to see a lot of smoke coming up. Can you uh, stir fry your king oyster mushroom a little bit to remove its earthy smell? Mm, I can smell it. Right now, we can actually add in some saoxing wine. I'm going to add with add on with some hot water, just to help to uh, ease the cooking process. A bit of uh, oyster sauce, about one tablespoon. Turn out the fire a little bit while I'm adding the seasoning. It's actually a good habit, yeah? To tune down the fire when you are adding the, the, the seasoning. One tablespoon of light soy sauce. A bit of uh, sesame oil. A little bit of salt. 
Oh, the sausage one is very fragrant. And some sugar. Some will actually stir fry the sugar until it caramelizes. Um, up to you. Papa, don't do that. Okay, now we can actually turn out the heat. For the sake of giving it a bit more caramelized color, I think I will add a little bit of dark soy sauce just to give it a, some caramelized color. Just a little bit, not too much. Okay, okay, okay. Just half teaspoon. Okay, I'm going to leave it on high heat or medium high heat. Let it reduce for a couple of minutes. When it started to thicken up, yeah, that is the time where we can actually add in the basil. So you have to uh, pay attention to this, to the broth, because it's going to thicken up very, very fast in a couple of minutes time. All right, so we will come back shortly once it started to thicken up and reduce. All right, the broth has, the gravy has actually started to thicken up. Can now actually add in the basil. My apologies for the not so pretty nice color of the basil, but we can make do, no problem. It still is going to taste really good. Right. So the broth is actually the gravy has actually taken up naturally by itself. I wanted to add some corn starch just now, but I didn't manage to. Actually, perhaps I still can add a little bit of cornstarch. I'm going to out the fire right now. Just add a little bit of cornstarch. Starch solution, okay. Right, done. Now the gravy is nicely coated all over the king oyster mushroom. I'm going to dish it out. Okay, so here's my uh, three cups, um, three cups king oyster mushroom with very thick gravy. Ooh, look at it. Okay, if, uh, this goes very well with the white rice. Uh, if you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Apa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Apa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.